watching out for you. Mandatory evacuations are expanding as I speak in the gorge as the Rowena fire continues to grow in size. At 6 o'clock, good evening everyone, I'm Jeff Gianola and let's bring you up to date. That fire now covering 2,600 acres. We just got an update, more than 140 people are now being evacuated from their homes. Amy Frazier was in the evacuation zone this afternoon when families were told to get out. And she joins us now. Amy? That's right, Jeff. We were in a neighborhood about a mile from here or so today when the fire, it suddenly flared up. Things got very tense very quickly. One minute, everything seemed under control. Okay, how do you guys leave? But I think it's going to get better, but now it looks like it's going to get worse. Scary. The next minute, oh my gosh. an emergency evacuation. I'm really, really scared that my grandma's house is going to burn down. She's been here 15 years. We were in the Foley Lakes mobile home area outside of the Dallas to show how close the fire got last night. When the winds picked up and the smoke suddenly got very thick. Well, it's my mom's house. We're going to make sure that everything goes down first. We saw the panic and felt the fear as firefighters and deputies ordered residents to get out. Well, they say go, you go. That means a reason for it, and they know better. Many struggled. Do they leave or try and do something to save their homes? I feel like my heart's in my throat. So, God bless you, but I gotta go help my grandma's house. You guys take care of yourself. Then we met this family from a subdivision just down the road. Mary Hoffman says she grabbed her baby and ran, telling us her mobile home was on fire. Yeah, and then the wires on the electric thing pole got on fire, and the pop, the wires start popping, and it was hit the houses. Helicopter after helicopter raced to dump water on the growing fire. And those fire workers, they're so good. I mean, they know what they're doing, and I'm so thankful for them. Strong winds and heavy smoke continued, many wondering what would be left in the end. Fire officials tell me they are seeing increased fire activity. We expect an update later tonight on any damage to homes. There's also a community meeting tonight that will be held at 7 p.m. at the high school here in the Dalles. We will be there to bring you the very latest. Reporting live in the Dalles, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Amy, thank you. Many of the people evacuating are staying at a shelter set up by the Red Cross. We checked in earlier today. We have, uh, we serve meals, we have snacks, we have a lot of highly trained volunteers here able to provide health services, disaster mental health services. All the services provided, of course, are free regardless of the extent of need. Stay